Wave 1 going out for the low income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm watching all this new information, hitting the wire every single day, doing all the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can understand what is actually going on right now and how it's going to impact impact you or anything else out there right now that you can possibly grab or take advantage of, especially with all these new announcements coming out of the administration, the president, lawmakers, Congress, and everything that Congress is currently working on, including all the new bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to benefits, as well as raises to benefits, money, checks, programs, and anything else going on right now. It's a very busy time. Things are changing very rapidly. And along with all the cool and big announcements right here on this channel as well, there's a lot going on and you got to make sure that you're subscribed down below so you don't miss any updates going forward and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day as your one and only daily advocate that is my dedication and my commitment to you and the community and as always I'm sticking to it so again thanks so much for joining me please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about what is going on and yes wave one is officially going out and arriving to those people who are low income right here on this channel and by the way yes that does also include fixed income beneficiaries social security SSDI retirement survivors, SSI, VA, virtually everybody here on this channel and in the community. So if you're watching this video, yeah, of course, you are uh, part of the community and included in this. So let's get into it and talk about it because this is actually pretty exciting and a new development in this very cool project. So stick with me here because I want to share with you some things that are going on with this. Now, as we have this discussion starting right now, you'll get to enjoy the pictures that have been submitted to me by those of you here in this community. So just a few days ago, I was out in a separate video talking about this Amazon project that we've been doing for several months now, sending out well over a thousand packages to those of you here in the community and the necessities that have been requested by many of you here asking and wondering, you know, can you get these different items? Well, we open this up to small kitchen appliances or what I've been calling them big little items is what I've been calling them. And basically, I opened up the floodgates to that um, a few days ago in a separate video, right? Well, as a result of that, we ordered up a bunch of items. And as you can see here from the pictures, they are going out. And yes, they are being received by those individuals here in the community. So some pretty cool stuff out there. And again, a lot of really cool things that many people have been requesting. Here's what I found about this. This is super interesting. I went through the comments section because after I used the random comment generator and I did choose the names and, of course, uh, got those items out to you, I wanted to see what were most most people are requesting like what are some of the big items that people were wondering right now here's what I saw out there and it's very interesting honestly I did not even guess that these would be the items that would be most requested so number one electric can openers I never ever would have guessed that and honestly when I was using my examples in that video the other day I didn't even think of electric can opener. That's a great one, honestly. Opening cans for a lot of people is kind of tough, right? So electric can opener is a great one, right? That's a really great option right there. So I saw a lot of people reaching out saying, I need a you know electric can opener. That was a really big one as well. Next, I did see microwaves. Microwaves were a big one on the list as well. Now here's the thing with microwaves. Uh, as I mentioned in that video the other day, I said I wanted to keep the items under $100 for now, but moving forward over the coming days, weeks, and probably the next month or so, we can probably ratchet this up to about $200, maybe a little bit more than that. As a result of that, microwaves might fall into that category. Uh, there's not really microwaves under $100. Again, I did some looking around. I don't think you want a microwave under $100, right? So the fact of the matter is uh, we did not go ahead and order any micro microwaves this time, but hopefully here in the relatively near future, we can get into that category very soon because I think those are well over $100 range, right? Uh, but anyway, I did see a lot of people reaching out saying, hey, my microwave fried the other day. Can, can I get a new one, right? Here's one more thing that I want to mention as well. If you are somebody who is renting, so like if you're renting an apartment or a house or something like that, if you're requesting a microwave, I'm going to go ahead and say this much. I don't want to do, I, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you right now. I don't want to buy a microwave to replace what the landlord is supposed to be buying for you. If you're living in an apartment or at a house or something like that and you're renting, your landlord should be responsible for that. I don't really want to be the guy who like replaces a microwave for a landlord, okay? I'm just being real with you right now. That is their responsibility to pay for that for you. They should be the ones fixing it. They should be the ones getting you a new one. I'm not saying that I don't want to help you out. I absolutely do want to help you out. But again, if you're renting the place, I feel like you should go after your landlord and say, hey, 
Dude, give me a new microwave. It doesn't work. That is a responsibility of you and your lease agreement to continue to keep all of the appliances in working order, things like that. So please go after your landlord for, uh, for those items. But if you're, again, living in a place and you need some other items, again, even if you're renting, it doesn't really matter. If you need um, like a, I don't know, a, a countertop toaster oven, uh, that's just an example. Or I had a few people reach out and say, hey, I'd love to have a crock pot, um, these different items like this, then by all means, yeah, that's obviously not going to be the responsibility of a landlord, right? But when it comes to a microwave, that's one of the kind of essential appliances that comes with your home, right? Refrigerator, uh, stove top, range, um, oven. Uh, what else? A dishwasher, possibly, not always, but sometimes a dishwasher. Microwave is also one of the kind of the top three essentials, right? Uh, that's in there as well. So if that is your situation, please reach out to your landlord and say, yo, get me a new microwave because mine fried, right? So again, I'm not saying that I don't want to help you. I absolutely do want to do that. But I'm just saying, I don't want to be buying a new microwave for a landlord. I mean, seriously, they, they should be paying for that for you. Um, but again, if you have other things that you want, by all means, let me know if it's, uh, you know, any of these other items. Honestly, there's so many different little appliance type items that... Uh, could be on the list. It's honestly, I don't even have a clue about probably a half of them or probably even more than that, right? There's just so many different little gadgets out there that's like, wait, I never even knew that existed, right? So anyway, I was just getting some examples. But when it comes down to the microwave thing, again, please don't be discouraged about that. I'm, I do want to help you out in any way that I can. Those are above and beyond the kind of the, the money, a dollar amount thresholds that I planned on spending for this uh, bigger little items uh, for this project. Uh, as of right now anyway, but we will likely get into those here in the relatively near future. But again, all I wanted to say was just that point about if you're renting, have your landlord get that for you because that is their responsibility to fix that up for you. So just wanted to make that clear for you. But anyway, by all means, keep your list coming in as far as your little items. When it comes to these appliance items, by the way, um, I did have a couple people ask me this as well. The person was asking, or the people have been asking, if I get a little appliance type item, can I also get some cleaning products with that? Depends. Depends how expensive the item is. If it's, say, $25, then yeah, we can probably throw in a few cleaning items as well. If the a small appliance item is maybe, say, $70 or $80 or $100, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, no, probably not. Probably just the one item at that point then, right? Or if you still need a list of type cleaning products, uh, that's fine too. Not a problem with that. We can still do those as well. Those are always available and on the list of things that you can uh, ask for and request as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, I want to come back here for you with you in this short video, give you some pictures and show you some of the items that have been arriving at the doors. First wave of these bigger, small items have gone out and, of course, hitting doorsteps of those people right here in the community. Now, again, I want to throw this out there really fast here. I've seen down below, and I see this all the time, and again, just doing what I can here. If you have not been chosen yet, if, if your name has not been chosen yet, please don't get discouraged. Again, I get thousands of comments on videos like this. And again, I'm choosing, well, depend on the type of items. When it comes down to these smaller items, again, I'm choosing far less people because the dollar amount that we're spending is higher, right? So the number of people that I can choose is actually going to be less and less, the higher price ticket items that we actually are buying right now. So again, I just want to make it very clear. I'm seeing your comments. I'm choosing names um, five days a week. I'm choosing names and I'm reaching out to those people who are chosen. So if you haven't been chosen yet, again, just doing what I can here to get to everybody. And as I like to say, I don't have infinite amounts of money to do this with. We have kind of, you know, finite up, uh, finite supply of money to do this. Unlike Congress, where they just have hundreds of billions of dollars that they can throw around and do whatever they see fit with it, right? So that's what I want to make uh, clear for you. Anyway, I want to come back here for you, show you the uh, the products and the items that I'm hitting the doorsteps. Wave one has gone out and more are on the way. So if you're somebody who is um, awaiting one of these items and I reached out to you and we've been in contact, hey, your item is probably on the way. Uh, stay tuned for that as well. And again, I will always send out those emails to let you know when they're going to be arriving. But sometimes it takes me a couple days to get to those. Honestly, just because I have so many emails coming in, I'm making sure that orders are being submitted, orders are on the way, and all the other you know kind of things that are going on in the back end so sometimes it does take me a day or two maybe a little bit longer than that to get back to you but again i'm seeing all of your emails and your contacts uh, stuff like that so anyway hope you enjoyed this video again let me know what it is that you need uh, as far as these small appliance type items. Again, try to make sure that they are below $100 as of right now. Uh, again, we can probably ratchet this up here relatively soon to more than that, $200, maybe a little bit more uh, relatively soon. But as of right now, try to keep it under $100. If it comes in at, say, $120, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, 
We're going to have to wait on that one, okay? And just try to keep it under 100 for now. That's just what the, uh, we need to do right now to progress this project effectively. Otherwise, we're going to get ahead of ourselves, and then all of a sudden, it's, you know, might collapse the whole thing, which... Again, we've been going strong here for a few months now. It's been going very, very well. I want to keep it going and try to keep this uh, as long as we possibly can because it's honestly a pretty fun thing, right? I think many of you here in the community are really loving this. And honestly, I'm loving it too. It's so much fun to see the items and all the nice messages and honestly, just doing what we can to help out everybody here in the community as much as possible. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any videos going forward like this and all the other updates with all the craziness that's going on right now. Things are being updated left and right. There's a lot of really weird things that are updating every single day. I'm back for you in those videos as well as all the cool giveaways and stuff that we're sending out to your doorstep as well as cash drops sprinkled in and any little nuggets that I may be dropping in the videos as far as other special giveaways that are unannounced. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Have a good day. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Wishing you the best of luck and continue watching your messages for my replies to your comments when your name is chosen. All right, enjoy. I'll catch you again later.